Saudi Arabia's space economy has hit $8.7 billion in 2024 and is projected to skyrocket to $31.6 billion by 2035. Backed by Vision 2030, the kingdom is investing heavily in satellite communications, rocket manufacturing, and Earth monitoring tech. CST Governor Dr. Mohammed Al Tamimi says this growth is about empowering national talent and building a sustainable space economy. Taiwan is building its own version of Starlink, aiming to launch its first B5G satellite by 2027. With over 40 local companies involved, Taiwan is pushing for full island-wide satellite coverage to boost digital resilience and national defense. The government has extended its space program to 2031 with a $40 billion AT budget. Honda is shifting gears from cars to the cosmos. The company is testing a renewable energy system on the ISS that splits water into hydrogen and oxygen using fuel cell tech. This could power lunar habitats and fuel rockets. Honda's US and Japan teams are working with NASA and JAXA to make it happen. Heat shields are becoming essential for reusable spacecraft. New tech like inflatable shields and advanced tiles are being developed to survive re-entry and reduce costs. SpaceX is leading the charge with its Starship, while startups in Europe are prepping for commercial tests in 2025. Deloitte has officially entered the space race with the launch of its first satellite, Deloitte 1, via SpaceX. The satellite aims to provide real-time insights for clients and marks a major step in the firm's global space strategy. India's Airborne X Defense in Space is teaming up with Slovakia to co-develop tech for light tanks and combat vehicles. The deal includes turrets, protection systems, and remote-controlled weapons, all to be manufactured in India under the Atmanir Barbarit initiative.